Hey guys, it's Jess and I'm back with another super quick project that you can create using the latest Hedgehog Hollow subscription box. This is the January 2020 box and uh, I am really excited about all of the cool graphic elements in this box. So previously I shared a card on my blog and on the Hedgehog Hollow blog with kind of like a faux watercolor look with a big sentiment on top. I really liked the way that that one turned out, but I decided to focus this time more on some of the dreamy boho sort of look uh, stamps that are in this set. So I'm taking this like sort of drapey, I don't even know how to describe this, but it reminds me of like dream catchers and like beads and I don't know, just really dreamy uh, sort of look here. So I'm using just some black ink and stamping it out full strength. And then I'm using the second generation stamping technique here where you stamp off one time and then you stamp a second time so that you get the lighter color of ink. And it makes it look sort of like that ink is in the background or sort of fading out. And in this case, I think it really made that uh, background just I don't know it kind of took it up a notch and made it look more fancy uh, I really really like the way that this turned out so once I was done with my stamping I kind of toyed around with a few different ideas now this is a slimline card so I believe I measured it to since this is the interior panel I measured it to 3.75 by nine and a quarter I think um, I think that the um, the full measurement was four by nine and a half. It's supposed to fit inside of a number 10 or business size envelope. So that should give you the size reference for that. So I decided that I wanted to stick with black and white. I thought originally that I might add like a pop of color somewhere, but I really liked the elegance of the black and white and not really much else going on. So I cut a strip of black cardstock and I made it the same width as my card panel. I think I cut it around an inch, maybe a three fourths of an inch, uh, and I put it into my Misty. I wanted to uh, stamp directly in the center. Sorry that this is a little bit out of the frame here, um, but basically I just centered the uh, the sentiment and I chose the one that says, look at the stars, look how they shine for you. I really love that one. Uh, and I decided I wanted to do some heat embossing here. So I used some letterate embossing ink. Um, I did make sure to treat the surface with an anti-static powder tool. Again, sorry that that was a little out of frame. I did not realize it. Um, so once I melted that embossing powder, that was just the Ranger white embossing powder, I did go ahead and use my ATG to attach that strip to my card panel. And then I felt like it needed a little bit more oomph <laughs> uh, here. So I decided to go ahead and pop it up on a little bit of foam tape from scrapbook.com. This, the width that I used is, um, I think maybe an inch. Um, they have a couple different varieties, like a two inch, a one inch and a quarter inch, I believe. Um, so before I did that, I don't know if you guys caught that there, but I was doing some erasing with my uh, Tombow Mono Sand Eraser. I had a couple stray embossing powder flecks that got melted where I didn't want them. So I just used that little eraser very gently and erased off the embossing powder that I didn't want. Do be careful when you do this so that you don't discolor your black paper, um, but it works like a charm. It works really well and it helps clean things up. I did use some clear sparkling sequins. These are from Pretty Pink Posh uh, and I'm running low so I'm going to have to reorder those soon. Uh, but then I did go ahead and cut my uh, card base I actually decided to cut it as like a card panel first and then I attach it to my card base later. Um, I think that it just, my, the paper I'm using here is a little bit thinner um, and so adding those extra layers really helps kind of make it feel more sturdy. So here's that uh, foam tape that I was telling you guys about. I am super impressed with the quality of this, you guys. The backer comes off so easily and it tears like, I mean, it's, it's super easy to use. It's really easy. You can use the scissors or you can tear it so so awesome <laughs> I can't sing the praises of this foam tape enough um, all right so I just stuck it right on there and you guys that finished off the card that is it super quick and simple but I really like the way that it turned out let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below uh, if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you guys in another video really soon